Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I hope you're all doing well today. So we've got a chill day of Animal Crossing ahead of us today. I played a teeny weeny bit earlier but I actually have a bunch of chores to do so we're just going to be doing some fossil finding and all of those shenanigans. Hey look, it's not cloudy. This is amazing. It's actually not Rainy. Incredible. Hello, Isabel. Doo -doo -doo. So, we have some things. We have some things to do. I have some things to show you. Um, what you might have seen actually in the opening is I'm trying out a path design. See how I like it. Um, I think I I I do like it. I'm just not 100% on it yet, but I've gone with this cobblestone design that I found online. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it'll look better when there's flowers around, because right now it kind of looks a little bare. But yeah, we've, we've got at least a temporary path, which is nice. Um, also, I had Katrina today, so that's my second Katrina visit. Um, shut up, bug. So, we're getting there. We've had two. We need 20 to get her to move her store and open up on Main Street, which is the ultimate goal. Did I hear meow coupons? I think I have meow coupons. So, um, let me grab these real quick. I have 30. And yeah, I need to do all my boring chores, so uh, let's have fun doing that. Hi, cat. You gonna go have food? Okay, good plan. <laughs> I talk to my cat. I don't need the watering can, what am I doing? I need Le Chavel. Because one of these rocks is not like the other. Yeah, it was actually Roxy. Appropriate use of the Roxy emote. But yeah, how's, how is everyone? Are you all well? On this Saturday evening. Feeling a little bit under the weather today. Like, I'm fine, I'm just having one of those one of those days where I don't really want to do anything, so I'm looking forward to just messing around in Animal Crossing for a while. <laughs> Dog villagers in HD, yeah. Man, do we have two dogs in our town? I feel like we have two dogs in our town. We have Biscuit and we have Mac. Oh, so tonight I'm removing this bridge, so this bridge won't be here tomorrow. And then we'll put it down here. But I might end up um, building something else before the bridge because today Blathers spoke to me about renovating the museum, which I really, really want to do as soon as possible. So we'll be getting the museum upgrade, which is really good. Also, I had shrunk the other day. He came round, so Club LOL is in progress. I did all of the signatures and that was cool. So that, that's all done, I'm just kind of waiting on that happening right now. Um, so I think we'll go for the museum next and then I can buy the little exhibit spaces and I can use that to display some of my vast item collection that I have. <laughs> and then get some storage back, which I so desperately need. Um, oh, I hear a balloon. Let me see if I can grab this. Here you are. Oh yeah, look at my, my water fountain built. That's what I was building the other day, I think. You can drink some water. It's kind of cute. I need to um, do something about this area. Because the thing is, I want to preserve it so that people don't move in. So I might need to get creative with patterns and place them... I mean, a pattern that's not just these stones, just to preserve this area because I'm not quite done with it. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle that, but I will figure out a way for sure. Let's open up this present. Balloon. Which I do not need at this moment. You have to be careful with balloons, one disappear before because they forgot you forgot they disappear on patterns. Oh right. Yeah, if an item drops on a pattern, it, it's gone. It's not there anymore. 
Um, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense. I was considering, um, when I was looking for patterns, I was seeing all these cool things, and, um, I considered having something that, a, a design that could cover the entirety of the map, except for a few spaces, because it looks really cool when people have these full town designs, but at the same time, I really like the more natural look, so I'm probably not going to do that. But it's definitely impressive. Airmail? No, we want you to keep saying airmail. It's good. Not at all boring. Um, you're donating stuff to the museum to get all the things unlocked? Yes, yeah, so Blathers talked to me today. So I'm gonna build it tomorrow and then it'll be done the next day. And also um, after that he'll then unlock the roost after a few more days. So we've got, yeah, some cool stuff coming from Blathers. I've not really thought about where I wanna put the cafe. That's something that I do need to think about. Roxy, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear her, she's meowing. Um, so yeah, I need to think about where we're going to put the cafe, because that's quite a cool project. Man, Penelope's still here. She's moving in a few days. Excuse me, girls. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I really want to cross the bridge. Jeez. Um, here. Did we get all the fossils? Yes, we did. We'll go see if Blathers needs any of these, and then we'll keep them. I've decided that I'm recreating my mini fossil collection because I had it on my last save file and um, I decided not to transfer it over because I had so many items already transferring that I left them behind so I'm gonna rebuild the mini fossil collection that you can get Cyrus to refurbish for you. So I'm looking at getting two of every fossil. Hello Lathers, I would like you to assess these. Hopefully you've got some cool stuff. I'm wearing my lucky item today, but I can't remember what it's doing for me. I, I used the phone and then I went to Katrina and I still can't remember. Hey ho, did you get anything you want from here? Two of them. Alright, fair enough. Two pieces of the Diplo. Diplodocus, I guess. Or Diplodocus? I have no idea how you say it. <laughs> Perhaps neither of those things. Katrina is a pain. Yes, she is. <laughs> she really is. Um, I'm, I guess I'm 10% of the way though, right? 10% of the way with two visits out of 20. I mean, she has to always be the last thing that people get, right? There's no way. Let me, um... Let me pop into leaves and stuff. Um, I need to buy all of the things. So I'm buying flowers for the silver watering can, I think. And then I'm buying saplings for the golden axe shovel. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> One of the things. Which I, I already have these tools, I'm just doing it again just for completion's sake. Hi Magnastique, how are you? Welcome. See what I can fit into my inventory from TNT Mart. A few things. A few things. Oh hey, Tammy's in here. I had a I had a cool conversation. It was um Tammy and Harry ended up uh, having a chat so I went and talked to them and they were complaining or they weren't complaining they were arguing about who was the scarier <laughs> and it was a really funny conversation um, they were just like she was saying that Harry is you know his face is scary and he was saying that her eyes are scary and it was quite funny but they ended up being like friends at the end of the conversation, so I thought it was cool. Alright, well we bought all the main things we wanted here today, 
So I'll just go sell all this stuff to retail and then we can see about doing some other chores. Japanese name leaf, if written in kas katakana, looks like the English word for leaf. Does it? That's crazy. That's really cool. I can't read today. I'm, <laughs> I'm like squinting at chat. I'm squinting. Alright, let's just drop this stuff off at retail real quick. Retail quick. Oh hey, Anna Clotty's in here. I feel like I haven't spoken to her at all, but she's been in her house loads. Loads and loads. Um, I want to sell these things. I'm going to plant the flowers because I think there's a medal or a badge for planting seeds and saplings. So I'm just going to plant them and then sell them because I don't think I need them. Oh man, I almost forgot. I have tea. Hold on. Oh god. Eh. The cables. It's really hard to do things. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's real good. So, um, let me go check these fossils and plant the flowers. Hey, Mac. How are you doing? In fine form. Oh, hey, he's saying airmail. That's interesting. You want stuff for your house? Oh gee, I mean I'll have a think about it. <laughs> Usually these don't end up going kind of well. Hey Mint Simming, welcome. So look, I organised my front room a little bit. I mean it's still a mess, but it's slightly less of a mess now. Man, I don't even think I have room for all of these things. I mean, here, <laughs> gosh, the storage is just awful. It's so bad. I'm going to be so relieved when the museum is done and then I can drop some stuff off here. You can just live in there for now. Oh man. It's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, I think I was saying before, I'm going to put all the Nintendo fortune cookie set in the museum. And then I'm gonna do the fossil exhibit, the little miniature things, and then all of the stuff that you can get from Gulliver. So like a world tour kind of room. So let's just plant these real quick. I haven't seen Phineas and man, he must have so many badges for me. But it's either been rainy or I've had visitors in town, so he has just not had the chance to come and see me at all. But I'm looking forward to it, so... Why'd you dig a hole for flowers? Well, when you're planting... I, I think that there's a badge for planting seeds and saplings. Um, and I, I believe it requires you to do it with the shovel to for it to be official for the badge. Um, it's kind of a weird one. Like I was reading about it and it didn't make a huge amount of sense, but I think you need to plant saplings. Like I don't even know if fruit works. I assume fruit works, but um, they were sort of quite specific about it being seeds. You know, things that... Um, I don't know. I'm doing it just in case. Plant the flowers and immediately rip them out of the ground. Yeah, it's like, here you go, here's a nice home. Boom straight away. Man, look at all this stuff. That was the shirt that um, Sky was wearing. Man, we got the QR machine, which is why I was able to get past. So we're making progress. I also got two of the mannequins. I think... I think... Um, LaBelle gives me one at some point. And then also Gracie. I could be wrong, but I've had one from Mabel and one from Sable, and I think you can get four. So what I'm- yes! So, <laughs> so what I'm gonna use it for is in the fortune cookie room, I'm gonna- excuse me! Thank you. I'm gonna put the like Link costume and stuff on the mannequin. Yes! Oh god, she's here. 
Cat? Cat. That's the microphone, honey. You're gonna be real light. No, 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 come here. Come here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's here. She's, she's really here. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Yeah, I know. You're beautiful. I know. Um, let's just have a chat for a few minutes because Roxy needs a cuddle. <laughs> She's so ridiculous. Yes, I see you. You know what it is? I'm wearing my big jumper and she really likes this jumper and she likes to need it. So I think we're just going to have a little chat here, friends. <laughs> and then she'll go away in a few minutes so we can keep playing. You are ridiculous. I know. I know. I know you're ridiculous. So yeah, how how's everyone? <laughs> Honey, I'm trying to play the game. I'm trying to play the game. I can't play the game if I'm holding you. All right. So um, I was actually playing uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee earlier today. I was trying to get a catch combo going on Squirtle. Because I thought maybe tomorrow for the stream we could do some shiny hunting so i wanted to see if i could start a catch combo because the problem is if you're doing a catch combo for the rare pokemon on the route they take ages yes oh she's dribbling everywhere oh my god um <laughs> so i thought if i got the catch combo started today i could just leave my switch on overnight and then we could stream some shiny hunting tomorrow does that sound cool should we do some of that Otherwise, we could play Splatoon. Um, so, I don't know. Tell me what you think. She... Oh, this cat. She dribbles. Um, I don't know if your cats dribble, but some cats dribble. Mine is one of those cats. So what, um, what used to happen is when she was a kitten, she would do all of her kneading, and she would end up dribbling on me. So then I started holding her like a baby, and now she dribbles on herself instead. <laughs> it's pro tactics. Um, so she'll do all of her kneading, but now because I'm holding her this way, she'll just dribble on herself. So she can clean it up later. <laughs> it's so gross, but it's kind of cute. Roxy, are you going to be much longer? Like, I'm trying to... Here, maybe I can like... Maybe I can play with one hand. Eh. Oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> I can't do it. I mean, do you mind? Like, she's really cute. At least you got a cute cat. <laughs> huh. So yeah, we might um we might do some shiny hunting tomorrow, if that appeals to any of you. Just to change things up, to switch things up a little bit, huh? Get it? Yeah. Um, also, as soon as it hits 7pm tonight, there's going to be some more scary bug hunting. So, prepare yourselves mentally for that, because it's going to be something else. Are you, are you almost done? Gee, she's purring. I don't know if you can hear her or not. I've got tea. My tea's going cold. I can't play Animal Crossing. I mean, ugh. You're cool with shiny hunting? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. You done? Nope, okay. <laughs> so ridiculous. See, I, I knew there was a reason I made my BRB screen with Roxy on it. And surprisingly, she has been really good. So, bless her heart. Yesterday you saw two scorpions and one tarantula. I caught the tarantula and missed the two scorpions. Oh no, how did you miss them? Did they run away or run into the water or did you miss with the net? Did they knock you out <laughs> or did you survive? Man, I just need the tarantula. That's all I need. You missed with the net? Oh no. Oh no. That's a shame. Yeah, I, I seem to remember the tarantula just being like way scarier. It's very spook. 
Are you almost done? I feel like... I feel like you're gonna have to be done, <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> For the good of the stream. Like, you're, you're so cute. And I love you. But like... You can't jump on me every time I wear this jumper. Yeah. <laughs> she just looked at the 3DS like, yeah, whatever, and then carried on. Oh, cat. Hello. Hello. Mwah. They give you one shot and then they pounce. They do. They're very spooky. I think... I think the scorpion was fine. Um, it was just really terrifying because it was so close to the cliff. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall off the cliff. And then it didn't. So... We'll, we'll probably have some trouble with them falling in the water and stuff. Huh. You would get it no problem, wouldn't you? Hmm? Because you're good at hunting spiders. Yes. Are you done? Jeez. You're so warm as well. You have dribbles all over your face. You done? <laughs> Roxy, this is ridiculous. It's been like 10 minutes. Mwah. Mwah. Oh god, oh. I actually kissed her nose and it's wet. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gross. You finished? Hmm. Right, I'll give you until 25 past. If you're not finished, you're gonna have to go dribble somewhere else. You don't look at the- oh? Are you done? You finished? You gonna... You gonna go? Oh god, the mic. Oh god, the mic. Hold up. Oh no. Oh god, I'm sorry. Oh, maybe you can hear her purring now. She's like right in front of the mic. Eh, <laughs> look at her little face. You're so ridiculous, Roxy. Huh? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna lift you down, okay? I'm gonna lift you down. Okay. Oh god. Oh. I'm sorry about that, my friends. Oh god, I've got cat dribble on my hand. <laughs> so gross. Little chub chub. Yeah, she is. She's like a little bit chubby. Just a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Okay, where were we? We were buying things in the shop. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, friend. Uh, let's carry on here. Man, there's a lot of expensive headgear. I don't think I'll have enough money for this. I'm run out of cash money. Oh, the other thing is I'm almost done with... Um my house in terms of expanding it for now because basically um I've upgraded well as of tomorrow I will have upgraded all of the um rooms to be the size of the villager houses and I think that that's a pretty good size so I'm gonna leave my house as it is which means I'll actually be able to build up some income because I've been kind of running a little bit low on money. Um, so that's good. It means I can invest more in public works projects and also save up to buy some turnips because I might actually be able to do that. Not tomorrow, but the day after or the week after I might actually be able to be able to store some turnips in my house. So let's go sell this stuff at retail. I did check out the island today and there was nothing interesting. So no island goodies today. Alright Reese, can you take all of these things please? Because I don't want to keep any of them. 
Uh, don't worry about it, musical music. I don't need money. I'm just getting, um... I'm getting my money from selling my old town in installments, so... I get, I think it's 390,000 bells a day from that. Um, so it's fine. Like, it's not a problem. Ah, look at this tire toy. <laughs> the weeds make this place look kinda bad, but... It'll look nice at some point. It'll look nice. It's starting to come together a little bit. Needs needs some more work, but we're getting there for sure. We're definitely getting there. But thanks for the offer anyway, friend. I, I do have, I think I have a million in the bell point. It's just that my house expansions were costing more than I was getting per day. So I was losing out a little bit on money, but now that I'm stopping that, I'll be totally good for a while. Ah, that's a real pretty, pretty sky tonight. You're not sky, you're a Mac. Uh -huh. You are saying airmail though, which I find interesting. <laughs> Someone from any town. Ah. I should probably put some designs in Able Sisters, right? That would be the smart thing to do. Man, did we bump into Sky already? I don't even remember. Annalise is here. Hello. Let's have a chat. I'm still a pro listener? Okay, interesting. <laughs> You've been called worse? I wonder what. Yeah, Katrina, I went and saw her already. <laughs> it's totally fun and creepy. Man, fun and creepy aren't two words that I feel like should belong together. For me, anyway. Hey, look, it's Carlos, my dude. Penelope's just here guarding the bridge, as usual. What's going on with you? You are a pond skater? I could probably do that. I could probably manage that. I'll have a look-see. Man, this bridge will be gone tomorrow. Weird. It's kind of symbolic, because <laughs> the bridge will be gone, and also um, Penelope will be moving out. Crazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the suspension bridge design like the other two, because I prefer it. Dude, it's not a scandal at all. What are you talking about? It's not like I'm siphoning bells from the, the town or anything. Uh, <laughs> hey, Sky. Alright, we need to get a pond skater for... for, um, Carlos. Baking is fun. Baking is great. We'll have a quick patrol of the river. Man, I'm doing really well on, um bugs and fish. There's still only a couple things I'm missing. I mean, aside from the tarantula, which we could maybe get today. That would be good. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty well. I wrote down, I made a list for both August and September of the bugs that will appear in those months that I can catch for the first time. And there's, there's not really many. Um, there's kind of like two or three from each category and that's about it. We're cutting down a bunch of trees to replant them and have a more organized town. Sounds good. I've chopped down a few, but not that many. It was mainly, I just chopped down trees that were in the way of my path. My dumb path that <laughs> doesn't make sense at the moment. Um, it's definitely good. The only annoying thing is if you want the regular trees and not fruit trees, you have to buy them from leaves and that can take a little while because you can only get one a day. And it might not be the kind you want, like it might be the cedar tree. Or the regular one. But it feels good, definitely, to have like a completely clean town to then work from. So I'll probably go on a, a tree chopping spree soon-ish. Soon-ish. And I'm not seeing a pond skater straight away. I don't feel like they're particularly uncommon. So I think, I, I, I feel like they do appear more in the actual ponds, but they can appear in the river too. So we'll just have a look around. I'm trying to think what else I need to do today. 
because I did the fossils for Blathers. Man, Biscuit, are you out and about? You're on a snack run. Okay. Gotcha. Check this pond. Nope, nothing. Man, I, I forget we have three ponds. It's kind of cool. I think you can have up to five? Could be pulling that number out of thin air, but I think it's five. I mean, really, you only need one. Here's a pond skater. I mean, I think I saw one. <laughs> I think? Yeah, there's one. I see it. There we go. We did it. Who wanted that again? I've already forgotten. <laughs> It was Carlos, right? Jeez, I'm so bad at this. Carlos, where are you? Are you on the other side of the river now? Dang it. They always ask for something and then run away somehow and they end up at the other side of town. Just for no particular reason. Dude, where'd you go? Oh, here he is. Hey, you're using the path, good job. I have a bug for you. Here you go. You have two frog villagers and they're really ugly and not Lily. Oh no, that's upsetting. I really like Lily and Robert. They're my favorites and they're both frogs. A cavalier shirt. Interesting. What does that look like? Oh, I see. Interesting. I mean, it would look good with the cavalier hat, but aside from that, I'm not sure what else. <laughs> but hey. Oh, Annalise. Oh, I looked at the, um... She wants it, okay. You can take it. Um, I looked at the tower, I think it was her that suggested it, and it's like, um, it's sort of like Tokyo Tower. Or like a tiny Eiffel Tower. Well, I say tiny, it's big. <laughs> So it's, it's a big piece of a public works project. So that was nice. I think Tammy, Tammy was out and about earlier, but she's not giving me any public works. So this is upsetting. But I'll show you how my house is coming along. I got a new room. Also my tea is probably cold by now. Here. Mm. Um, I got a new room. And I put the Gracie set in it. Man, this set looks cool. I really like it. I like how it looks like actual modern furniture. Like the desk is really nice. The bed is really nice. I, I like it a lot. So yeah, we've got the, the Gracie room over here. Just pretty cool. I would definitely stay in, in that room and actually use it. As opposed to my other rooms, which are just kind of like showing off furniture sets. It just looks a little bit more real, which is good. Yeah, you can't destroy the campsite after you place it. It's a little bit of a weird one. I suppose it would cause problems if you were demolishing it and there was an animal due to appear in it or something. But yeah, mine's mine's up here and I, I thought about it and I'm, I'm happy with it. Um... But yeah, it's, it's weird. I like that it's next to the campground. <laughs> I feel like that makes a huge amount of sense. So I'm, I'm happy with my placement, for sure. Um, so something we could do actually right now, I could go and set up the dream suite because I have it now, but I haven't walked into it yet. So we're waiting on Club LOL. I don't know how many days that takes, but I got the signatures I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. So hopefully that'll be built soon. But yeah, I have I have the dream suite. So I can get the I can get the code and then you guys can explore my town. We'll just have to listen to Luna's text <laughs> and kinda skip through a little bit. Man, the internet in blue text. Yes, we can do a connect. <laughs> This pleases me. Man, Luna, you're kind of creepy. Here, let's let's just do this right now. 
The, the video just kind of stuttered there, but I think we're okay. I was worried it was going to break the audio, but I think we're fine. Are we out of sync now, possibly? We might be out of sync. Yes, Luna, okay. <laughs> I have nothing rude in my town. Oh my gosh. Um... Viewing only for now. Just for now. Still in sync? Okay, good. It like stuttered. I'm not sure why it did that. But if we're okay, that's good. The internet! Wow! Technology! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna lie down. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll make a command to um, put the code in chat later. I could put it on screen as well if anyone is hopping into the stream and they want to come visit the town. The internet with Kamek magic. <laughs> it's like Magikoopa magic. All finished. Cool. Alright, well if you want to like copy it, it's here. Um, I'll do a command and I'll I'll maybe put it on the stream layout or something just so that people can come and visit if they would like. Cool. Got it. So it's on my card now. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, Luna. Jeez. Man, I understand there's a lot to go through, but oh hey look, that's what we got our our coupon for. So yeah, we're here with the old man. I'm gonna have to. I'll probably wait until I get a haircut and stuff to take a new photo. But that was like the photo from the first day. Memories. Thank you, Luna. I will try and do this every day or every day that we stream, maybe. Because you also get money for it as an incentive to keep it updated, which is cool. I like that. Um, I think we also need to buy the stuff from Kix, and I think we missed one of the accessories in the Able Sister shop because of inventory management. So we'll buy this. Do -do -do -do. The curly mustache. Yeah, you think it would suit me, LaBelle? <laughs> Thanks for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> we'll go see what Kix has for sale. Man, I'm so excited about getting this museum upgrade. You've no idea. I think it only costs, um, is it 20,000 bells for each room? And you get four rooms? Like, wow, there's so much storage. <laughs> it's also fun to set up exhibits. But for right now, I'm just like, storage. I need it all. Because <laughs> I do. I really, really need it all. I would like to buy all of the things in your shop. Man, imagine if there was an option for that. You talked to Kix and it was like, I want to buy everything. And you could just buy everything all at once. Some red shoes. I own these already. I have them in my drawers. Which I frequently wear. Colourful socks. And by colourful, we mean like two colours. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, let's buy all the things we just have. <laughs> we have such a small amount of money. It's fine. I have stuff in the bell point. So we can withdraw money. But we're okay. I think we bought everything now. We've been to all of the stores this evening. So we're good. You're gonna dream about the town? Cool. Enjoy. If any any of the animals say something funny, take a picture of it. See what Sky says about me or, or Tammy. That would be funny. Let me go sell this real quick. Should I change my ordinance to Night Owl Town? Um, 
if if it suits your daily routine, then yeah. Um, it basically pushes everything three hours, I think it's three hours back or three hours forward, depending on if it's early bird or not. Personally, I, I would usually go for early bird because some of the stores don't open till 10 a.m. And I'm like, guys, come on, I'm ready to play Animal Crossing at like eight in the morning, you know? So for me, I would definitely go the other way, but it just depends like how often you play Animal Crossing and at what time. It's good that, it, that there's an option for it. It's a shame that you can only have that or the perfect like nice town. It's a shame you can't have that as a separate ordinance. Um, yeah, your flowers might die. I mean, you just need to keep up watering them. That's all it is. I think if you don't load the town for the day, they don't wilt, I think. So if, if you're worried because there was a day that you weren't planning on playing, I, I think the game preserves them. I think it's only if you load the game that they actually wilt. I could be talking rubbish, but um, yeah, this is my my flower situation is really spread across the beach now. Um, wow. We're doing pretty good with flowers. Oh, cat going back to her bed. She's got up, went and had some food, had a dribble, and now she's gone back to bed. Man, what a great life. What a great life she leads. Uh, reminds me of the lack of cloud saves in the new game. Hope they let you continue to change the time at least. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're gonna have to handle that differently. Man, look at you two. Hello. Penelope. Man, she'll be gone in four days because someone was wanting to come and uh, pick her up so we'll see if that person's around and she can take Penelope to her town. Penelope was nice enough, I liked her, um, but I, I like getting new villagers as often as possible so I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. The question is, do we have anything else to do today? I feel like probably not. I'm trying to think. I want to say I caught something cool, but I don't remember what it was. Because I think I've caught most of the new stuff on stream. Um, but right now I'm just waiting on the tarantula and... I need to do some late night, late, late night bug catching and there's a, a sea creature that I can catch after 9pm or something that I haven't done, the, uh, the horseshoe crab. So that's also a thing. Hi Sky. So scenic here on the bridge. I know the weather has been so rainy for so long. So no over my turn, yeah. Shirt. I do like it. It actually looks really nice on her. She looks really cute in it. A dishwasher? <laughs> what are you trying to say, Sky? Jeez. <laughs> well, hey, thank you. I guess I've got um, good luck with items or friendship today because she's giving me all these gifts. Yeah, you go see Katrina. It's interesting. Carlos, my dude. My dude, how's your pond skater? How are you enjoying that life? Cream soda? Oh, I love cream soda. It's like one of the few fizzy drinks that I really enjoy. Yeah, we'll have the bug off. It's the third Saturday in, of the month, so what, two weeks away? <laughs> An interview with Carlos, or Carlos invites himself to your house. Man, I think that's happened already. <laughs> but not wake up prank on Carlos. Okay, I understand, dude. Wake up prank is real, that sounds real bad. I don't want that either. <laughs> Man, his personality type is really cool. They just like randomly break into song or say something funny 
They make jokes a lot. It's nice. Oh look, I spy a balloon. Let us get the balloon. Not for what's inside it, but just because I want to try and get that badge. That balloon popping badge. Hey, it's the balloon hat. Which I have already. It's like a top hat <laughs> made out of balloons. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Cyrus hasn't woken up for you yet? Oh, it takes a little while. He woke up for me, I think it was a week, maybe? A little more after making the town. I should go see him really. I've, I've been remodeling this chair over and over, so I should probably do it for today. Try and do it a couple times every day. Now it's green. Jeez. So I'll just ask him to make it a different color. Man, I'm trying for some of these badges, you know. I feel like I may as well. So if I don't get them now, when am I? Probably never is the answer to that. I mean, who who goes back and plays old Animal Crossing games? Unless, you know, it's at the end of a life span of the game. Um, I want to change. Can you make it the brown colour, please? Ash brown. Perfect. Oh, he wakes up when you spend 10,000 bells? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, there's some... Oh man, whose bed is this? Annalise had this? I don't remember her having that. It sell 100,000 bells in retail. Really? Oh man. Oh, Tammy's in here. Man, I don't remember Annalise having such a fancy bed. Oh well. Yeah, some of the requirements for buildings and stuff, there's so many conflicting sources on the internet, it's kind of rubbish. It's even now, like the game's been out for so long, you'd think people could have playtested it. Um. Alright, what should we do friends? I actually cleared out my letters because today I got um, the 90,000 point reward. So that's cool. I have all my rewards from my last time because I figured I'd keep them but I might just end up getting rid of them or displaying them somewhere in the museum or something like that. Man, look at these two. They're just having fun. He's going to dig up some fossils. This guy's doing some fishing. This is such a nice evening. It's gonna get really scary in approximately 12 minutes time. <laughs> but for the next 12 minutes, we can enjoy the peacefulness, and then we're gonna be on the scary bug hunt. Again. <laughs> Which is not ideal. Man, that thing scared me. Look at this. It's an actual tiger beetle in town. You don't see them very often. Usually I end up catching this guy on the island. That's interesting. It's nice to see them in town, because I know that they can spawn in town, but they just never seem to for me. Can we get a flower back here? Yeah, there we go. You have Gulliver on your beach? Cool. I've had him twice. I got, um, I got, the answers were China and Thailand, so I've had two Gullivers. Wait, is there, oh, <laughs> bumped into Car Carlos hiding behind the tree. I was like, who's that? Do, 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 do. And... Annalise is kind of a weird one. I feel like she's been kind of grumpy with me recently. You didn't get anything? <laughs> oh, what a shame. Yeah, I feel like she's been a little bit grumpy with me. I wonder if she has any chores for me. Man, she was talking about this the other day. She was talking about skincare the other day. I didn't feel like she'd be that bothered about skincare, but... Oh, here we go. I heard a rumor that you have a dishwasher. You want it? 
Okay, how much? I mean, that's low, but I, I don't care. <laughs> you just take it, honey. Please don't put it in your house, though. I don't feel like that's really your aesthetic. You'll treasure it forever. Yeah, well, enjoy. You just got a really good deal. <laughs> she just strangled that innocent tree. <laughs> Aww. Man, I guess she was hoping for something good. You know, you can get those two furniture items per day. Maybe she was just really desperate for that dishwasher and she was like, well, the only way I'm going to get my hands on a dishwasher is by shaking trees. So, you know. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, she was offering the, the low amounts for stuff. Yeah, I think she can be a little bit, a little bit like passive aggressive or something. There's something going on with her. You know what? I've not had an animal in the campsite since the day after I built it and I had one animal turn up. And that was when I was doing all of the mini games to try and get the furniture. And since then, there's been nobody. Nobody at all. All right, do we have anything to do before the time comes that we're gonna have to do scary bugs? I feel like we don't, cause I, I did the dream address. So this is a thing, we have that now. I bought all of the stuff. I went to the museum and did the fossils. Um, I've done the Katrina fortune, which is my visitor for the day. I talked to Isabel and she's demolishing the bridge tonight. So tomorrow this will be gone. And then I'll be asking her for the museum upgrade. And then we'll get the replacement bridge. So we're gonna be a two bridge town for a little while, which is okay. It's not bad. And I feel like there's so many animals out and about. There's like four of them right here. I think Mac was hanging around as well. It's a busy evening. As soon as it goes to 7 p.m., <laughs> all the animals just like run inside their house and lock their doors. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, here's Mac. Hey, dude. I don't suppose you have a. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping for a public works project, but. Sure. Aww. Oh, isn't that nice? What a good doggo. Man, I don't think Biscuit's out and about. I think he's um in, on Main Street or something because he's not in his house and he's not in town. So he must be on Main Street or in the museum or something. And my hibiscus bush, they've like fully bloomed, which is kind of nice. They're pretty. I really only planted them for the snail, but they can stay there for a while until I figure things out at least. You have Fuchsia moving in? Fuchsia's really cute. She's um, she's like a, a bright pink deer. Well, Fuchsia deer. <laughs> um, so that's cool. I like her a lot. I had her in my pocket camp campsite for quite a while actually. You're doing wheat, uh, planting trees? Nice. Have fun. I think um, what I'm going to end up doing with regards to trees <clears throat> is I'll have little clusters of each type of fruit tree from the main groups of fruit, not the island ones. So for example, I'll have the area around the town hall <clears throat> could be peaches and then the sort of southern plaza area could be pears and then up to the campsite can be apples and so on. Like, I want to have apples here, like perfect apples, or a mixture of both. I've not decided yet. Because so I think we could probably fit three different types of fruit in the northern half of town, and then two types of fruit in the southern half of town, along with a few plain trees. So like cedar saplings and the regular saplings as well, because you want to have some of those so I think there's some there's some bugs and stuff that are exclusive to it. 
like the regular bees. I think spiders can appear from um, any tree, but for bees and you know, if, if you plant, I suppose you would have to plant like a certain amount to get your two pieces of furniture and your five bees and then the rest would be bells. I'm not sure how the game calculates it if you have less than that amount because I think there's quite a few um, bell treats per day. And then you've got five, four or five bee spawns and then two pieces of furniture. So you're probably looking at about 20 trees. Sell this stuff real quick. There we go. So we're almost ready for seven o'clock. Man, I'm gonna drink some cold tea in preparation. I don't mind drinking cold tea actually. It's not cold, it's just definitely not hot. <laughs> you just started hearing thunder outside? Right before we go scary bug hunting? No. Not again. Hey, at least the sky in game is really pretty. I mean, look at that sky. The stars are just coming out. So let's just focus on that. That's really nice. I like that a lot. I'd say it's not even room temp. It's probably colder than room temp, but I don't actually mind it, so. You guys doing some fruit exchanges? Nice, go for it. So wait, are you, are you hunting bugs tonight, Acetic, or no? How can it be colder than room temp in your room? Because it just gets colder. It's just how it works. Don't worry about it. If it was cold, I wouldn't drink it. So yeah, maybe it's room temperature. I don't know. Mm. It's not ideal, but it's still nice. I let it brew for like a good few minutes. So it's a strong mm. cup of tea. Man, these noisy bugs, they're really annoying, aren't they? Here, let me prepare. I need to put away this and this. So if we find balloons, the slingshot is in the, the lower present. Oh, I guess we're ready. I don't want to do it, but we're, <laughs> we're ready. We'll go sit on the rock until it turns seven. Jeez. We'll sit here, okay? for two minutes, just under two minutes. And then um, we'll see how it goes. You are hunting? Okay, so wait, you need um, scorpion, is that right? And I need tarantula. If only we could trade. Man, I'm really glad that it's not rainy in game or cloudy, cause it's just been like that for so long. Am I going to have to start wearing or carrying a parasol around, an umbrella? Because I don't want my character to get tanned. I want my character to remain as pale as pale can be. <laughs> Man, that's something that I'm really surprised they haven't done. They didn't do it with New Leaf, is picking your character's skin tone. Because, man, if you're not white, that's really annoying. I mean, that probably applies to just about everything, but you know what I mean, like, why does it have to be a tan? It doesn't make sense. You're heading off soon, Zelda fan? Okay, thanks for the good luck, though. <laughs> the time takes 7pm and Monokuma shows up on the televisions. Oh god. Oh god, I just had a rush of emotion remembering playing Danganronpa. Jeez. It's one of those games that, um, whenever I've played them, I play them in like huge chunks for like hours at a time. And you just get so involved in it. It's, man, they're really great games, but they're pretty, pretty spooky. It is officially night time. Oh, jeez. All right, folks, it's seven. Let's go do it. <laughs> uh. 
Boo boo. Hey Mac, you seen any uh, you seen any suspicious animals here? I don't mean Tammy. I mean little critter animals. <laughs> Man, I'm not ready for this. I was having a nice relaxing time and now we've got stressful bug hunting hour. Oh god. Already I'm getting jump scared by the dumb the dumb beetles on the trees. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <sighs> Penelope, that's a bit rude. She's small, but she's not that small. Oh look, big fish. Wait, this might be the thing for my my meow coupons. They told me to my meow coupons were like, oh you should catch the golden fish. So maybe this is it. Oh I missed it. Dang it. It's okay, I don't need it. I'm too nervous to think about fishing. Oh, that's a, that's got to be the big guy, right? The Arapaima, it has to be. That's huge. Why am I getting all this good fishing luck? Penelope? No. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I can't talk to you. You're moving out. Please leave me be. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to catch this really big fish. Come on. Turn. No. Oh. Mosquitoes and everything. Jeez, it's really awkward. Like, it's so close to the bridge. Oh. <sighs> right. No more fishing. I can't do it today. <laughs> it's not working out. This music sounds slightly ominous. Yeah, it's kind of more of a somber tune. <clears throat> and it's weird because there's sort of pauses in the music. Um, that it's a little bit creepy. Man, the 8 p.m. music is so good. I wish we could do this at 8 p.m. Then I'd have the nice, calming, happy music to save me, to protect me, to take my mind off these terrible things. <laughs> Penelope getting shunned by her mare. Man, I don't mean to. I really don't mean to. I just don't want to risk her saying that she's changed her mind about moving because it happens and it happens so often and it's just not fun. Especially because she's been planning on moving out for days. Like she's had a really really long moving out time. It was like when did she say she was moving out? I want to say it was like a, a, a week. It was over a week that she said, oh, I'm moving out on the 10th. And I'm like, okay, that is ages away. So I've just had to ignore her since then because I don't want her to change her mind. This is the problem. Sorry, friend. We did say our goodbyes sort of on the day she told me. So it's okay. And I will see her on the day that she moves out when she's got everything packed. And she'll, she might be going to that person's town who wanted to pick her up. Which is nice. I think that's cool. The idea that she's going somewhere else that's actually real and tangible. Hi Sky, please protect me. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. What was it that was getting me? It was like, I got a real jump because there was an oak silk moth. That's what it was. <laughs> it was the huge bug on the tree and it flew away and I genuinely got properly jump scared by it. So ridiculous. Man, I feel like I, feel like I want to chop down all the trees in my town because it's really hard to do stuff like looking for these bugs when there's so many trees like it just feels so packed i suppose if there were no trees that means that no tree bugs could spawn so that's probably 
really good, right? It means that more scorpion and tarantulas would spawn because there'd be no trees for bugs. So I'm not sure what other bugs spawn at this time because I don't think there's anything flying unless some of the dragonflies are still out at this time. But it must surely improve the odds greatly. Or at least make walking around easier. Well, we, the mosquito would be out, wouldn't it? The mozzie. Yeah, this bit down here makes me really nervous. Really nervous. Well, at least we have a path to follow. <laughs> An almost path. As soon as Tammy goes, it'll be complete. Oh, hey, are these two talking? Oh, I think they maybe were, but we just missed it. That's a shame. I don't know what they'd be talking about. Anything over here at the campsite? Man, this is my favorite place for stuff to spawn. If stuff, if stuff spawned there is open and I can, you know, not be as scared of it falling off a cliff because there's no cliffs. There's a pond kind of nearby, but that's honestly the biggest threat would be that pond. And even then, I don't think it's that much of a big deal. So this is where the scorpion spawned yesterday, right there. Someone's shaking trees, I hear them. Making all these noises to spook me. Jeez. I'm I'm already spooked enough. I, I don't need extra spook. Thank you, game. I would like 100% less spook, please. For sure. Some of the weeds are getting me as well. The shadows look funny. Oh god, this bit is awful. Look at all of these trees. <laughs> I'm like kind of following the path, but I'm also scaring bugs away. It's all happening. These are all my perfect apple trees down- Oh my god, look! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, you know what just happened? Do you know what just happened? She fell in the pitfall seed. Oh my god, Sky. <laughs> oh my god, honey. Honey, are you okay? Uh, me, you just fell. I think she's okay. She's not mad or anything. I was just like, oh look at Sky, and I was like, what is she doing? Oh god, and then I realized <laughs> I thought she was dancing as well. I thought I was like, oh Sky's really happy. But she fell because she stepped right in the corner of the beach. Man, I'm gonna have to go put that on the secret beach. It's not safe. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. She seems fine. She's not upset or anything. Oh, Sky, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, we'll get, when the next pitfall seed spawns, we'll go put it on the secret beach, okay? I think they're less likely to teleport down there. <laughs> yeah, Tammy would end up falling in it, but I don't mind that so much. I don't mind that. Like, where am I supposed to put it? That's surely the safest place. <laughs> oh no, poor Scotty. Man, it'd be funny to have talked to her when she was in the pitfall, but... <laughs> oh, poor Sky. What a shame. Let's stop for a drink of water here. Num 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 num. Delicious. <sighs> you think I should bury it and then surround it with holes? Mm. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> you could see like 
the smallest part of her head. You couldn't even see all of her face. Because <laughs> I thought she was doing the happy dance and I was like, oh, what's Sky so happy about? And then the sudden realization that she was stuck in the stupid pitfall. <laughs> oh dear. That was funny though. Poor Sky. Man, I'm seeing lots of beetles, but I ain't seeing any scary bugs. Mac, you seeing any scary bugs? Heck yeah, what is it? Oh. <laughs> it's Nicola. As in the Nicola nickname, because I don't like nicknames in this game. So he's now calling me by my nickname, which is my name. So... Can you just avoid getting the pitfall entirely? I'm not sure. I think if you have one in your inventory, maybe it wouldn't spawn. But honestly, I don't know. I think they just spawn regardless unless there's one in town active. That's how I understand it. Because otherwise, how would you get lots of them to create an elaborate pitfall trap maze? Which I have definitely not done before. <laughs> I, I think it has to be that there's one active in your town for them to not spawn and I find them annoying because of fossils. Like I could just let them spawn um, but it's just another inventory slot filled up is, is my view on them. I don't really have any interest in collecting them at this stage so I'd rather just bury one somewhere safe. So we'll, we'll put it on the secret beach and then if someone falls into it like, they've teleported down there, so it's their own fault. It is their own fault, for sure. <laughs> oh, I, keep, I keep thinking about the sky and the pitfall. Jeez. It's little moments like that that are great. Like, Animal Crossing is somewhat boring, right? I mean, it's relaxing. And it's great and I love it but at times it can be boring and just like little quirky things like that just make it all great it feels really good there's a moth I could catch it but I'll just leave it be for now <sighs> Katrina can you tell me um, where I could get a bug is that possible Give me my fortune specifically related to tarantulas. Please. Wait, I missed a- <laughs> You said you missed a tarantula and I thought you were being serious. <laughs> it was Penelope. <laughs> don't- don't- don't spook me like that, man. If I- if I walk past one, just like scream at me in the chat and then I might be able to rescue it in time. <laughs> But don't don't spook me. Don't don't troll me. Please. Hey Mac. I feel like I'm safer when I stand next to villagers, but potentially not. I still want to try that thing to see if they have dialogue. Cuz I've read places that the villagers have dialogue when there's one nearby. And I find that fascinating. I want to see what happens. But if it's a tarantula, I'm not going to risk it because I need to catch it. But if, if it's a scorpion and there's an animal nearby that I can talk to, that's like... That'll be perfect. Let me get this balloon really quick. Put this away. I feel like I get balloons really frequently. Like, I don't remember them ever being this common. I don't know. Goldie keeps wearing one of the default shirts even after you've replaced it. Aw, that sucks. Sorry, Penelope. I'll talk to you later, okay? I'm busy. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Goldie's a really cute one. Goldie's an awesome villager. 
she's a good doggo. A very good doggo. Oh, I can't believe that this is my Animal Crossing life. Just walking around town looking for a dumb tarantula. I mean, they're not dumb. They're really scary. And probably intelligent enough, but like... <sighs> Feels bad. This is not the exciting... It's not the good excitement. It's the, the scary anticipation excitement, which isn't as fun. It's not as fun. Man, this part here makes me so nervous. There's so many trees. Trees for days. Should have another drink of water. Num 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 num. Alright. Oh. Jeez, the base of the park clock made me nervous there. <laughs> Like, it's shadow was suspicious. <laughs> I love how much I just spook myself. Like, it's so irrational, but it's still spooky. Refreshing. I know. Delicious. Man, if, if we were, like, in the Animal Crossing world, we would literally live on coffee and fruit. That doesn't sound like a great combination. You caught another tarantula? The third one? Oh, I've only seen one scorpion. So at least you're getting the spawns. I know that's probably not terribly comforting. But like, you know. It's something. At least you're getting practice. I'm not getting practice, so I'm nervous. I'm gonna mess it up. Piano part of the song though, yeah, it's it's nice. It's definitely like, it's got that sort of hint of, I mean, it's not quite sadness. It's sort of just, it's calming and sort of peaceful and almost like acceptance. So it's a really nice one. But 8 p.m. is so good that I feel like I dislike this song simply because I know that when it's finished, I'll get the 8pm, and the 8pm is so good. You're resetting. How are you going about doing that? Do you just do it? You walk around the town and then do it? Or do you stand in one spot? How's, how, how are you doing that? Because it might be something that I have to try. If, if you feel like it helps, I might try it. Save and continue after a full cycle of my time. Yeah, I, I could do that. Oh wait, are these two talking? Oh, we missed it again. Jeez. It's not the best, is it? Yeah, maybe I'll start doing some save and continues. Because nothing's happened yet. <laughs> it's been almost 20 minutes. I think at this point we'd found a tarantula. Uh, sorry, a scorpion. But then after that we didn't find any, so it's not great. You're heading out, Earthen Tiger? Cool. Have a good day, friend. Have a good rest of day. Uh, save and continue. Yeah, we I have the scorpion and ASIC has a tarantula, so we gotta do swapsies. <laughs> and we can't hunt in the same time because um, they don't appear, sadly. Alright, we just did a little a little save and continue. So let's carry on. I figure doing it next to the campsite's pretty good because that feels like a nice safe space. So we'll just do it every time we walk around there and see if it helps. It definitely did not help us when we were looking for the gar and then we just stumbled across the gar another time. Um, so I don't know if it's any better than just walking around, but I'm, I'm willing to try. I may as well. I have nothing to lose. So we have done scary bug hunting for 1 hour and 20 minutes as of 
yesterday and today and I've encountered one scary bug which I caught so that's my that's my stats for scary bug hunting at this moment in time I still feel like the southern half of the town is just not a good place for it at all but I need to walk down there because if I didn't I'd feel like I was missing something. Alright, save and continue. So getting knocked out by a tarantula scorpion is the closest thing to a game over in this game? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Because there's no doubt, there's no negative effect aside from, oh I'm in front of my house now. But yeah, I think that would probably be the the game over equivalent because otherwise like I'd say something to do with Rossetti but I don't know he doesn't really do a whole lot in this game still need to get that reset center I'll probably do it when um, I've nothing else to build which won't be for a little while because I've got I've got the um, bridge removal today, then the museum renovation tomorrow, then I'll have to br build the new bridge. Um, so maybe after that, so that's like three days, then we'll have a look. Because all you need to do is uh, load up your game and then turn it off without saving. So yeah, you would just load it up and then turn it off so you don't lose any actual progress, but you still get to activate Rossetti is the plan. Hi Annalise, bye Annalise. <laughs> Jeez. Do you have a water break? Num 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 num. Num num num. Delicious. Maybe sit on the bench. Maybe that'll be it. This will trigger the good luck. Man, look at that sky, it's so pretty. Guess we could get rid of this cicada shell. Hey, we got bells. Okay. Cicada shells, more like cicada bells. Right? Right. Oh no, I hit save and quit. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Hold up. <clears throat> it's a hard reset. Hold on. See you soon. Yes. Very soon. Almost immediately, in fact. <laughs> Straight back in. Let's go. Hi, Isabel. It's me again. <laughs> it's 7.23. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Oopsie. Cool. And we're back. Okay. It's like nothing ever happened. Are we all good? We've got the net. Perfect. Oh hey, now Mac is inside. Interesting. Interesting. Wonder if there'll be different villagers out and about now. And I've been checking the campsite, or the campgrounds, sorry, every day. And I've been really disappointed by the selection of items that he's had. There's been nothing that I want. Nothing at all. And I'm like, I should probably buy it for the sake of my catalogue, but I don't want to then run out of meow coupons and not have enough if something appears. Hey look, biscuits out. One doggo to another doggo. Can you please protect me from the scary things? The biggest fish in the history of fish? Man, that sounds great. Let me know how that goes. I'm I'm trying to catch the, the scariest bug that ever bugged. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can both accomplish our goals, Biscuit. Biscuit. What a good doggo. Hmm. 
Might as well scare off the bugs here. They really like these trees. You find another tarantula? Yeesh. I'm worried that you're missing your net swings so much. Are the tarantulas the same as the scorpion? Because I didn't feel like the scorpion was that terrible. But maybe I was lucky with the placement? Because now I'm, I'm kind of worried about finding what I need and me messing up the swing as opposed to me finding what I need and, you know, it running into the river or off a cliff <laughs> or something like that. I feel like they shouldn't be able to do that. Like, I know why things are like that. Because like then the butterflies can fly down or whatever. But I feel like if it's a, a land-based bug, it should be programmed to not fall into the river. I don't know. That's your second time you were stung by a tarantula? Okay. So it, it's not bad then. I was kind of worried. Hey Carlos. Yeah, like I could just step on one that I haven't seen. That's the other option. I think it's really just seeing it. If you can spot it, you're fine. Um, otherwise, if you step on it, that is not so fine. I do feel like I should be seeing more of them though. I guess this is karma for having really good luck with the fish. Although I really would have much rather had good luck with the bugs and just spent ages on the fish because that's not as scary. It's not so spooky. Alright. We're almost halfway through our spooky bug catching. <laughs> No sightings as of yet. Um, maybe I should like get some clothes for my, my character and do like full roleplay. I'll wear like a really like a dark like dark trousers, dark top and like some shades or like a beanie or something and go into like full nighttime explorer mode. Maybe that'll help. Hey Biscuit. Bye Biscuit. <laughs> now let's scare away these bugs. Don't need them. Yeah, I feel like you would just squash the tarantula or the scorpion, but I mean they're probably pretty quick. They're aggressive, so if they see you before you see them, it's, it's pretty much game over. And every so often the game kind of lags a little bit and I get super nervous. <laughs> but uh, Tammy's out and about. So maybe she'll give me a public works project. Maybe. I'll try and find her every time I walk around the... I'll do a lap of the town. And try and talk to Tammy and see if she has anything to give me. That'd be good. Save and continue. They're definitely bosses of Animal Crossing, for sure. I wonder what it'd be like if Mr. Rossetti went head to head against a tarantula or a scorpion. I wonder how that would go. Who would be victorious? Tammy's catching all of the good bugs? Yeah, maybe. She can give them to me then, jeez. <laughs> Like, I just, it's for the museum, it's for the culture of the town and the development and the, and the knowledge and the science. Like, come on. You scare away this bug. You never know, me scaring that bug could make the difference between a new bug spawning and that bug being the scary bug that we need. Carlos 
close. Man, you're really like walking around, aren't you? You're in just a slightly different place every time I see him. Tammy, are you still down here? You got anything for me? No. Yeah, she does have her net out. I guess she's also bug hunting this evening. You know what's um, been rarer than I thought? Is the moth. Like, I've only seen, I think, one moth. It's interesting. Because I feel like I remember them being more common, but perhaps not. I don't have any lights set up in my town though. If I had like a lamp, then they'd be drawn to that as well. But I just don't feel like I'm seeing that many moths. Here or like at the town hall or retail. You've seen lots of them? Man, I don't know what's going on. You seem to have all of these spawns and I just don't have any. I feel like the, the fact that there's nothing is worse. <laughs> It's a lot worse, because when it does happen, I'll be so nervous that I'll probably mess it up. You know how it goes. I mean, the tarantula is just like... Is he the same size as the scorpion? Does he have like quite a big body? Or is he all legs? Because I don't really remember how they look on the ground. I, I seem to remember them being quite thick. It's a bit fat, yeah. So I imagine that they're easier to see than the scorpion. Because the scorpion's red colour kind of blends in with the dirt a little bit. Maybe. I mean, I'm not seeing either of them. Tammy, do you have things for me? Hello? Where is she? Where is she gone? Is she hiding? Hello? <laughs> oh, she's up here now, I see. Oh, she's put her net away. Interesting. Interesting. Anything before I do another save and continue? feels kind of bad. This feels kind of bad. Saving. Do not touch power button. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's try again. Keep going here. Hopefully I'll be able to catch it soon and then we won't have too many of these streams where I'm just wandering around being spooked. So I'm not sure how entertaining that is to watch, I'll be honest. Although having said that, I don't know what we're gonna do in Animal Crossing streams after a little while longer. Because right now we're still kind of in the, the phase of setting up and making the town nice, but when that's happened, I don't think we'll have very much to discuss. So maybe it's a good thing we have stuff like this to do for a little bit longer. Man, it always seems like there's a bug on that tree every time I go past. I wonder if it's just a coincidence. Hello? Any bug? Any bug hello? No bug. No bug yet. It sounded like I said no baguette, but I said no bug yet. <laughs> no baguette either. Oh man, the sandwich sounds really good right, right about now. Oh. Here. Let me get this balloon before it goes over the pattern. There we go. Open this up. Balloon closet. Cool. Man, Tammy, you gotta like, you gotta give me a public works project, you know? I'll make things worth it. Because <laughs> if I'm pacing around town and not seeing any bugs, at least if I have villager interactions, that's like interesting. That means something's happening. Because otherwise, nothing is happening. Save and continue. 
We'll just keep trying until eight o'clock, friends. So yeah, I think we'll try a shiny hunting stream tomorrow. I think that's the plan. I think my Squirtle catch combo is not very high. I think I'm at six or seven. I think I'm at six. Um, so there's not that many spawning. It's really difficult to start a catch combo when it's the rare Pokemon. And I'm doing it at the Seafoam Islands, because I know you can catch them north of Cerulean. But I felt like if I were going to encounter shinies, they're cooler shinies in Seafoam Islands. But I wouldn't necessarily break my Squirtle chain for a shiny unless it was like, really good. Man, I don't, I don't need to catch the fish. I really don't. Like, I feel like I would rather keep my Squirtle catch combo at this point than encounter a shiny Pokemon. Because the thing is, like, I've already got um, shiny Zubat and Golbat from Seafoam. So what would appear, it would be Seal or Dugong or Slowpoke or Slowbro or Jinx. And all of those are so easy to encounter that I feel like it's not a problem. Yeah, I know you can start a catch combo and shiny hunt for other Pokemon, it doesn't have to be the same one. But the reason I'm getting a Squirtle catch combo is because I want to get a 5 IV one. So like, I'm trying to get, instead because there's no breeding, I'm trying to do the IV stuff. Um, oh, she wants to call me this as well, sure. So I'm trying to get a modest Squirtle with five perfect IVs and everything except for attack. So I do need to chain Squirtle anyway, so I feel like I may as well do both. Um, and also, if you're actually chaining Squirtle, when you get higher up in the catch combo, he appears all the time. So you can just encounter Squirtle over Squirtle. So in the long run, I think it is faster to chain Squirtle. <laughs> Um, cause I just feel like, cause like Bulbasaur you get in Viridian Forest, right? And I feel like he's way more common. And I know Viridian Forest has a really high spawn rate or like number of Pokemon that can spawn. But even so, and Charmander feels faster as well. Like it's just Squirtle. See look, this tree again it has a bug on it. Um, so yeah, I'm really keen to get Shiny Squirtle, but also just a 5 IV Squirtle that I can train up and fight the Master Trainer with. I think that'll be cool. Yeah, I guess I guess Tammy's calling me Nicola now, which is the nickname Nicola. <laughs> which is fine, I don't really care. But I got like, excited because I thought she had um, a project for me. It's Tammy. I mean, good that you were talking to me, but like... Talk about a different thing, please. I would appreciate. Still no spook bugs. Yeah, it's getting a bit boring. <laughs> like, I'm starting to feel like it's unfair at this point that I haven't found anything. So over the last two days, I've walked around for one hour 40 minutes and had one encounter. Does that sound right to you? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't. It's because I'm not drinking water. Here we go. Gotta have like some sips of water, you know? That's the secret. And then we gotta sit on the bench, right? Sit on the bench and then we need to do three laps around the park block. So there's one two, three, okay. And now that I've done those things, that's confused the RNG and it's gonna spawn in a tarantula right now. Come on, game! Throw me a bone here. Jeez. <laughs> I did the ritual. The tarantula summoning ritual. Oh, there's not a bug on the tree this time. Has that theory gone? 
<sighs> I did the thing. It's like holding down the B button to catch Pokemon. It works every time. All you need to do is hold down the B button, guys. 100% of the time, every time. Any of you guys played um, Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu? Have any of you found a Master Ball? Because you can find them in Cerulean Cave. I haven't found one. I'm really excited to find one though. I definitely want to try. Because the thing about that game is you need a lot of money when you're doing like shiny hunting and stuff. And um, so I, I frequently go to Cerulean Cave because you can pick up items to sell for some good money. Uh, and, and in the item spots it is possible to find the Master Ball. So I, I'm, I really want that to happen. I think that'd be great. It's a very good game. Let's go. I enjoyed it a lot. And the Master Trainers, I've not even started them because, you know, I, I wanted to try and get Pokemon with good IVs or do shiny hunting. Like, there's a lot to do post-game. It's really nice. And like fighting um, red and green. I think that's cool as well. The stuff with green at the end is really funny. There's just some like dumb cutscenes, but I think they're really funny. Hey look, Anna Cotty's out and about. We haven't spoken to her anything. You need a new catchphrase? What's your catchphrase right now? I don't even know. Oh, cannoli? Oh, you need to leave it at cannoli? That's cute. Yeah, 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 perfect. <laughs> well, hey, at least she's happy. I mean, I'm gonna talk to her another time because right now I'm busy. So, yeah, like I've I've barely spoken to her just because I've not seen her around town very much. So I feel like I need to fix that. But not not today. Not at this precise moment in time. Because we've only got 15 minutes, and then I'm out of here for today. So. I gotta make the most of it. I'm not sure if I'll do another one of these bug hunting things, cause like, I feel like it's really boring. Here's Tammy. Oh, she's pulled out her net now, jeez. She's ready. Maybe she senses one nearby. Where is it, Tammy? Where is it? Should I follow her? <laughs> Oh, I feel like that's going to be a waste of time. You know who's sabotaging and it's not Tammy? Who would sabotage though? It's Roxy. No, she's gone to bed. She's not even interested. <laughs> oh, Roxy's face. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so happy that it, her face exists on the internet in this way makes me real happy. <laughs> Alright, we're doing another save and continue. It's not been helping me, but I'm just gonna keep trying. Just for the little bit of stream that we have left here. Alrighty. Man, I feel like, yeah, I don't... I don't think I should do this for another stream if we don't find it today because I just don't think it's very fun. Plus, if I do it in my own time, I could play at 8pm and then I get the good music. That's also another option. Because at some point I do have to catch the Scarab Beetle and the other really late night beetle, so I'm not going to do those on stream because originally I was like planning to do a late night stream but I feel like these kind of count because the whole reason was to get these bugs and 11 p.m. is like way too late for me I like to go to bed early and get up early so oh, hey Tammy do you have a thing for me no okay feels bad Bad. I mean, we're getting 
getting lots of tree beetles. Tree beetles. <laughs> uh, I'm just making up words. This is the quality content that you come here for. Me slowly getting more and more delirious and then making up words. Alright, we're gonna take a drink of water. Oh dear. Uh, we're gonna do a save and continue. The ritual didn't work. Maybe we did the wrong one. Let me try a different one. Maybe that'll work instead. Maybe. <laughs> Gosh. Uh. So, instead of what we did before, okay, what we actually need to do is we need to get a drink of water. Yeah, nice drink of water. And then go around the well to say thank you for the water, okay? Then we sit on the bench twice and then we go around the lamp, the clock rather, okay? That's the ritual. So this time for sure we're gonna get it. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> 100% guarantee on this lap of the town, I will find a tarantula. 100%. One, zero, zero. Hundo. Hundo percento. <laughs> It's fine, there's still time. There is still time. There's Tammy, he doesn't have anything for me, that's fine. She understands that I'm about to catch this tarantula. So uh, she, she knows I'm busy. She's not gonna give me anything this time. Cause she knows. Oh God, I just, <laughs> I just got jump scared by the beetle. <laughs> she knows. That as soon as I go back to the campsite, there's gonna be tarantula there for me. So, I mean, you know, that's just how it works. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. Definitely how it works. Definitely. Friends, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. I don't hate this game, but at the same time, I hate this game. <sighs> All right, let's try again. That was supposed to be it. That was supposed to be the 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 hundred percent guaranteed, a hundred percent of the time every time. Why didn't that work? Oh, Biscuit, hi. How's it going, dude? Forgot you were out and about. Curls is now up here. He's been walking around loads today. All right, let's just keep going. We've got 10 minutes left of this fresh hell that we find ourselves in. Kinda sucks, friends. Kinda sucks. There's the moth, the big moth, the oak silk moth, who we are not interested in today. Tammy, you got anything? No. Of course you don't. Maybe I should try and do some some resetting to get her to give me public works projects. Like trap her and then do the thing. You guys were talking about it the other day. Just before she goes, you know? Cause I, I want that I want that picnic blanket thing. And I'm pretty sure it's her personality type that gives it to you. I'll have to check the list actually and see where that comes from and also like how many I'm actually missing because I think I'm still missing quite a few quite a few 
I know there's a bridge design that I somehow don't have. Um, it's like a sort of oriental style bridge, which looks really cool. Um, but I don't have it. Because I've been using the, the wooden suspension bridge, which I like. But I also really like the other bridge that I don't have. So I, I would even consider, you know, swapping my bridges out later down the line when I don't have any public works projects going on and I don't know what to do with my money. I'll just pay them to rebuild, to remove and then rebuild bridges in the exact same place but a slightly different style. Because what else am I going to do with my money at that point? It's like one can only hold so many turnips, you know? Man, it's the quiet part of the song. There we go, it's back. Makes me nervous. As things go that little bit quieter and it's kind of like building the tension, like something's gonna happen. Here's Tammy. Tammy? Nothing? Alright, cool. Cool beans. We are approaching... Less than 10 minutes, friends. Man, this is ridiculous. Like, I have not had a single spawn this whole time. I've been at it for 52 minutes. Plus an hour yesterday when we got one spawn. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> really doesn't. I think we'll do like one or two more laps of town and then we'll finish off for today. It's a bit of an anti climax but I just I think it's for the best I think it's for the best because I can always do this in my free time like I, I I always wanted to do at least one late late night bug hunting because like it's quite fun to do like it's really scary but I think that makes it fun so it's nice to do it you know while talking to people in chat and like hanging out like it, it kind of breaks the tension and stuff also, it's funny when I get scared at dumb things in the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think after today, if I don't get it, I'm just gonna find this in my spare time and let you guys know when it happens because it just doesn't seem that fun anymore now that we've done two days of it. <laughs> I think I'm kinda done. I think I'm done with it. Cause it doesn't feel amazing. I think um, it's nice to try a, a path design though, like I've had a good chance to like look at it and walking around town and stuff. So I, I might stick with it, I'm not sure. There's, there's so many amazing things, people are so creative and people have designed like loads of cool patterns and stuff and it's really amazing. I'm, I'm not talented when it comes to pattern design. I, I've tried, like I've tried to do pathways and sort of paving stones and stuff, and I, I just can't get it right. Um, so it's it's good that there's so many talented people, and I can use their stuff in my own town with QR codes. I mean, it's so easy. It's back in the day you had to copy them pixel by pixel, and now you can just scan the QR code. Like technology, man. I love technology. <laughs> Best villager competition. First up is Sky. I pay my taxes in ordinary manner. <laughs> Sky wins. Man, what what a good a good wolfie. Here we've got a balloon. Let's see. I've had like three balloons today, but no scary bugs. Oh look, you can see the moon. Isn't that cool? The moon is in the sky. That's when you know it's getting late. <laughs> Alright. We have the balloon sofa. Cool. I'll sell all this later. I think we're almost done. I think it's almost time to go sit on the rock, friends. That's really how you know it's getting late. Because they're just not showing up for me. 
Like, I, I would have felt better if I'd seen one and messed up, or seen one and it, you know, fell off or fell in the water. But just not seeing one feels really rubbish. Um, so I'll, I'll have one more quick walk up to the campsite and then we're done. But obviously I'll still be trying to catch this in my spare time. Sorry Penelope, I can't talk right now. So, you know, what's that noise? You guys hear that noise, right? It's like a whatting noise. Is that in the game? in the game but I have no idea what it is. Why wow, is a big fish? I, I hear like a, a whatting noise. Maybe it's not in the game. Maybe it's my headphones? But it's like stopping and starting. It sounds like a bug or something. I don't know man. All I know is that <laughs> there's no scary bug. So, it's not happening. It is not happening. Alright, well, here we are back at home. Oh, you can't see the moon because of my house. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. Alright, well, it was a shame that we weren't able to get the bug. Um, but we tried. I'll definitely keep trying to catch it, but just probably not on stream anymore because I think it's kind of boring. <laughs> it's lost its its fun. The fun, the small amount of fun that it had, I think it's lost it. So, um, yeah, that's it for today's stream. So tomorrow I think we'll do some Pokemon shiny hunting, just to spice things up a little bit here. Um, I'll try and get my Squirtle catch combo up a little bit higher so that we're not sitting around quite as much as I have been playing it for the last sort of hour before the stream. Like, there are not that many Squirtles! <laughs> so if I get my catch combo up it should be quite fun and we'll get lots and lots of Squirtles and we'll try and get a 5 IV one and ideally some Shinies. That would be really cool. So I'll see you there tomorrow if you're around. Otherwise I'll be back in New Leaf and probably a day or two um, after. We'll see what's happening. I've got, you know, a few things to build like the public works project for the museum and stuff so probably a couple more days and we'll be back here again. I'll show you some progress and hopefully by the next time we stream I will have caught a tarantula. Fingers crossed. We'll see. So I'll say goodbye for today friends. Thank you very much for coming out to the stream. I appreciate it. You're very kind. And I shall see you tomorrow for some Pokemons. Okay? Cool. Alright, take care, friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Or bye. Or bye. <laughs> or bye. Um, hey, Astic, thanks for the bits. Happy end of stream. You're very kind, friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever else I see you. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.